Hello friends, in this video I will talk about the Doppler effect of light and the Doppler effect is the change in the frequency or the shift in the frequency of a wave when the observer is moving relative to the source and it was discovered by Christian Doppler who was an Austrian physicist and he described this phenomenon in 1842 and this Doppler effect can be observed for any kind of wave and if we see the case of sound waves we, we observe it in our daily life that if the vehicle is coming towards us then the frequency is increased and it, if it is moving away from us then frequency is decreased similarly in case of the water waves usually in still water the water waves are in circle but if somebody is swimming or somebody is moving in this direction then there is increase in frequency in this direction similarly in case of the light wave if the source is moving away from the observer then we see this color as reddish or this is known as red shift uh, increase in the uh, increase in the wavelength or decrease in frequency and when the source is coming towards the observer we get it increase in frequency or it is known as the blue shift and uh, we can see this effect in our daily life like siren of police car or ambulance because if they are reaching towards us we uh, we listen the high pitch or the uh, high frequency and if it is going away from us then there is decrease in the frequency so in case of the Doppler effect of light it is little bit different than the sound waves because in case of the sound waves it depends on the velocity of the source velocity of the observer and also on the uh, velocity of the air so in that case because sound wave needs medium for travel but light does not require any medium so Doppler shift it depends only on the relative speed of the observer and the source the Doppler effect of light can be observed in three cases we will discuss these three cases here first one is transverse Doppler effect when the observer is moving perpendicular to the source and longitudinal Doppler effect when the observer is moving towards the source or away from the source so we will discuss these three cases in detail okay now we consider the uh, longitudinal case when source is here and observer is moving uh, away from the source and if the frequency of light source is new not then we have to find new for the observer and which is moving with some velocity p so if uh, in time t this observer will move v into t distance away from the source so in that case the total time taken by light to reach the observer will be capital T will be time t plus v t by c because v into t was the distance traveled by the observer divided by the speed of light so this is the extra time for the light to cover this distance so t plus v t by c so t1 plus v by c and if this t is observer uh, will be find by t equal to t naught divided by 1 minus v square by c square because observer is moving and here uh, that this time was proper time t naught and this is t naught divided by 1 minus v square by c square 1 plus v by c and if we solve this uh, we can write this under root 1 minus v, uh, v by c under root 1 plus v by c and now we will have t naught 1 plus v by c divided by 1 minus v by c so this is the uh, frequency new for receding case equal to new naught under root 1 minus v by c divided by 1 plus v by c or new naught c minus v by c plus v so in this case nu will be always less than new naught the uh, frequency observed by the uh, observer will be less than the source frequency new naught similarly we can find out if the observer is approaching towards the source and source have frequency new naught then what will be the frequency observed by the observer with moving with velocity v towards the source so in that in this case the time taken will be this time it will be 
it is traveling towards the source it will be uh, t minus uh, b t by c because light light we have to travel less because it is moving towards it so t equal to t minus b t by c again we will have to use for the observer this time will be proper time divided by 1 minus b by e square by c square and if we solve it again in this case it will be t naught 1 minus b by c divided by and root 1 plus b by c so this is for the ap approaching case new equal to new naught 1 plus b by c divided by 1 minus b by c in this case positive is in numerator so new will be greater than new naught if it is approaching towards the source the apparent frequency will be uh, greater than the source frequency new naught and if there is a general formula just to remember uh, all uh, if there is this is observer and source of light is here and it is at angle theta uh, between source and observer then uh, and if the relative motion between these two is v is the speed and uh, relative speed then the general formula nu equal to nu naught under root 1 minus b square by c square divided by 1 minus b by c into cos theta and in that case we can find out for the transverse case the source and observer will be this angle will be 90 degree in case of the transverse so if we put cos theta equal to 90 it will be and this factor will 1 so nu equal to nu naught 1 minus b square by c square and in case of the long longitudinal case if it uh, observer is moving towards the uh, source then in that case uh, theta equal to 0 and nu equal to nu naught c plus b by c minus b and if it is moving away or receding then theta equal to 180 degree and if we put values here then it will be nu naught c minus b by c plus b so this is the general formula and if source and observer both are moving then we have to take care about this b using the relativistic velocity addition formula then we will have to use that formula and then the, use that b here in this formula so in that case both uh, when source and observer both are moving so these are the formula summarized here in terms of lambda we can find in many cases uh, lambda is given so as we know for the electromagnetic waves lambda into nu equal to c or uh, using the formula v equal to nu into lambda so light speed traveled c c equal to nu into lambda and from here we can replace this nu by c by lambda and nu naught by c by lambda naught and then we will find this lambda observed will be lambda source on root 1 minus b by c and divided by 1 plus b by c sometimes we can write this b by c as beta so this is the formula you uh, used in the calculations so we can understand that if it we have a uh, source here and for this person uh, this source is going away going away means there is decrease in frequency or increase in the wavelength and for this person it is the red shift or you will see the color as red reddish whereas this person will see this is coming towards uh, the observer so that's why it looks like blue or bluish and there will be increase in frequency it, that person will observe high frequency Doppler effect is very important in astronomy to study the different uh, stars and galaxies using the change in the frequency of electromagnetic waves or light produced by these stars and all the universe is expanding is also verified using this Doppler effect and it is uh, electromagnetic waves emitted by stars in distance galaxies and if we study uh, the frequencies or wavelength coming from these stars then we can uh, it is proved that universe is expanding and this is how this is the application of Doppler effect in understanding the information about the stars in within different galaxies and we know that galaxy have millions of stars and they are rotating towards um, about a center of mass and electromagnetic radiation emitted by such stars appear to be shifted towards a uh, lower frequency which is known as red shift uh, if 
the this galaxy or cluster is going away from the earth and if it is coming this galaxy of star is coming towards the uh, earth then we see uh, the shift in the frequency or increase in the frequency which is known as a blue shift so most of the time we see the color of the stars as red so that's why they are moving all are moving away from us so that's why we can uh, it, it is the theory of uh, expanding universe is proved from the uh, this doppler effect also now we see one example that a star is receding from the earth at a speed this b equal to 3 5 into 10 to the power minus 3c and the wavelengths we have to find out the wavelength shift for sodium d2 line 5890 angstrom lambda naught is given so it is moving away from the uh, observer so that's why uh, it we observer will record smaller frequency or longer wavelength so lambda will be lambda naught one under root one plus b by c divided by one minus b by c because lambda is increased when it is moving away so lambda will be lambda naught means 5890 angstrom 1 plus this velocity 5 into 10 to power minus 3 means 0 0.005 c divided by c it will give 0 0.005 and again one and under on 1 minus b, b by c will give this and if you solve it it is lambda equal to 5919.52 angstrom so shift in the wavelength will be lambda minus lambda naught so delta lambda will be this 5919.52 minus 5890 that is 29.52 angstrom another example is suppose the doppler shift for d2 line is 5890 angstrom is 100 angstrom here in this case shift is given delta lambda is given when the light is observed from a distant star determine the star's velocity of recession so in this case we have to find v of the uh, receding star so lambda delta lambda is given 100 angstrom and lambda naught is given as uh, 5890 angstrom so we can find out lambda by uh, using this formula lambda minus lambda naught 5890 plus 100 it is 5990 angstrom and again we have to uh, use the formula of uh, this doppler effect formula lambda equal to lambda naught 1 plus b by c 1 minus b by c because lambda is increasing when it is moving away so that's why we take it positive if we uh, use the frequency formula then this will be negative but here we are using the wavelength formula so we can use this so lambda is 5990 it is lambda not 5890 under root 1 plus b by c we can write it as beta divided by 1 minus beta and we have to find beta then we will know the b by c so if we solve it so beta will be uh, we can find out beta is 0 0.017 or b by c ratio is 0 0.017 so b will be 0 0.017 into c so this is how we can use this formula to calculate the change in the wavelength or change in the frequencies and if we uh, new is given then we will use the, the formula uh, new equal to uh, c by lambda then we can find out the formula for new thanks for watching this video and if you have queries or any suggestion then please write in comment box and if you are new to this channel then please subscribe so in next video we will discuss some other topic of this uh, relativity and modern physics thank you very much